Yeah, hello everyone. My name is Sagar Prajapati and in this video I will be solving one of the most important interview question which is based on the pivot. Okay. So, as you know, you know as you can see here I have created a dummy data set. We can see our dummy data frame where the data is look like this. ID, name, country and date part. Now you can see we have ID column and having the data like uh, 1, 2, 3 and so on. And in the name column we have this name Gaga, Katy, Bay, Gaga and so on. And we have this country also India, UK, Europe and so on and we have this date part. Now if you can see here what we need to do we need to pivot this data frame. So what I need to do. Uh, I what I need to do I'll 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 need to uh, convert this row Gaga Katy Bay into the columns okay and country into the rows okay how we can do that so let's get started so for that what I will do I will uh, I will write here group by okay first con uh, first uh, I mean the syntax would be like uh, first we have to use group by okay so I need to do group by based on based on this ID and date part date part okay after that I need to write here pivot okay so on I mean which column needs to be pivot that is name column needs to be pivot means needs to be converted into into the uh, column like I mean the rows should be converted into column after that we have to write here a aggregation function so for that uh, usually what we do we just simply write min max or something like that so I can use here uh, first function okay first function also I can use and inside this I will write here country and since I have used here first I have to I have to import so I'll write here from uh, pi spark dot sql dot functions import star okay and I'll do this df1 is equal to this and in order to show you the output I will write like this okay first is not defined uh, first is not defined group by pivot ok let me use here minimum uh, what is the function right first only right You can see like this. Now, if you can see over here, okay, let me do display, display of df1. Now, if you can see over here, we like this is the first row only we we get we got okay. But if you see the source data frame, we have, we have, uh, we have. You can see like we we got only one row and here also uh, we got uh, Gaga uh, India and Katy UK only but you can see but you can see Gaga having two values India as well as US okay but since we have used here first function that's why uh, it returns only the only the this rows but what I need to do I need to have all the things over here now what I will do instead of this I will use here collect, collect underscore list function now if you can see the output you can see we have in Gaga we have India and US both things now what we need to do is that we need to explode the columns 
I mean, you know, Beko explode and then Gaga explode and this Katy explode. We have two options. One option is that, you know, I can write explode in each each columns and then I will join or I will do some operations over there. But that is not a, a good approach. Okay. What I will do, let me show you over here. So I will create a new data frame df2 and is equal to df1 dot with column. Let me use a new column. Let's say new comma. I will use this arrays underscore zip method. Inside this, we need to pass all these columns which we need to which we need to club it okay so i will write here uh, bay array column only gaga and then catty and here i will do display of df2 let's see you can see all these columns and in this new column we have we have array like this see bay Europe, Gaga, India, I mean, you know, it divided into the, uh, I mean, it converted into array. So first index would be uh, Europe, India, UK, hey na? and second one, since Europe having only one, uh, one value, the second value would be null, since because Gaga, we have one value. So null, Gaga may US, Katy is also null. Like, likewise, we have this kind of thing. Now, what I need to do, I need to convert this, uh, you know, I mean, I uh, now, okay, this is, this is what we have it. Now, what I need to do, I need to explode this because this is an array format, right? So, what I will do, I will simply write with column new. Here, I will use explode and in explode also, in explode also uh, in explode also i will pass here new method i mean new column so just run this now you can see okay let me do let me do this new one so that you will also understand now you can see here the difference between new and new one when i use new uh, new one which is i know i used here explode now you can see this first row having Europe, India and UK and second row having null, US, null. And you can see also here the ID is 1, 1. Likewise, it, it does for uh, second ID and does for third ID. Okay. Now, I do not need, I do not need new column, right? So I will just drop it. Cool. Even though I do not need this big Gaga and Katy and so on. Now, if you have noticed over here, I have used here new one and now I need to. Now I need to select all these things, right? All these, uh, I mean, I need to segregate this big Gaga and uh, Katy things. What I will do. What I will do. I will create a new data frame, let's say df3, df is equal to df2 dot, uh, select, right, yeah, select, id is compulsory, date underscore, part is compulsory, after that, you can see here, I'll have to use this new one dot, new one dot, B. And if I run this, oh, sh one minute. You can see we get the data like this. Europe may like. And if you want to do for Gaga, so write like this. New one dot Gaga and write like this. New one dot uh, cat. T, right? What is the name? Cat T. Hold on. There is also one hack. What you can do is. Okay. The hack is 
you can see here I have to write all these things you know suppose we have uh, 10 to 20 columns then you need to write it down 20 columns every time and suppose we have to do this operation for a couple of uh, couple, couple of tables then you cannot you know you, you like then you do not need I mean you 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 are not interested to to write to write all these columns again and again so what we can do since we have created this df2 df2 right df1 so we have this data frame df1 so if I do this columns okay and if I try to print this you can see we have this id date part bay gaga and so on okay what I can do list column to explode something like this I can give the name and then what I will do uh, what I will do I will just write I initiate a loop for i in what list of explode and I will start from uh, 2 to 2 to end 2 to till end because I need only this and this id and date part column are fixed I know this id and date, date part column comes at the starting index and after second index from second index I need to take all the columns in our select query okay so this is done what I will do I will now uh, write like this okay and range len of this and I will update this with this with what I will update this with new one dot new one dot what new one dot uh, plus of i okay now try to run this okay if i do if i print this list then you can see we have new dot one bay new one dot gaga and so on which is nothing nothing but this so i can write i can write this to here right and in this id and this what i will do i will use this df1 dot columns cool and here i will uh, give a range from 0 to 2 this is also cool i believe right okay and here also i need to i need to parameterize i mean i need to dynamic it so I will again use this paste it over here and give from 2 to till end now just run this okay you can see we have the same output over here okay so this is something like you know we can explode multiple columns at a time and what we have done we have what we have done we have uh, make the our code our you know our uh, process dynamic suppose we have couple of tables like we have this table right and suppose we have different table they also we need to do the same operation then we do not need to write our code again and again we can pass all these we can make it parameterize i mean you know we can make it dynamic so that's what my intention was to to understand you he this is also the process we can achieve it via all these uh, functions and all so i hope you have under this understood this concept and if you like if you understood if you think you know this video is very useful for others please share with your friends and uh, yeah subscribe to my channel so that this this video will be you know reach to others also at a broader or broader audience so chalo thank you bye bye